Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about the relational operators in Java. Here is our outline. First of all we will see what are relational operators. Then we will see the equal and not equal operators. We will see the greater than and the greater than or equal operators. And finally we will see the less than and less than or equals operators. So let's get started. What are relational operators? They are operators that are used to make comparisons in our program. So suppose that we have two values, for example, two numbers or two strings, anything, and we want to make some comparisons. So first of all, we have the equality operator, and we use it like this. We use two equal signs, right? We have the inequality operator, which is exclamation mark equal sign. This means not equal, right? We have the greater than operator, which is this one, and we have the greater than or equal operator. We put the greater than operator followed by an equal sign. Also, we have the less than operator, which is this one, and we have the less than or equal operator, which is this one. Now, what I want you to know, all these operators produce a Boolean value when used. Now, let's see some examples. We will start with the equality operator. This operator is used to test if two expressions are equal. So have a look over here. I'm initializing a Boolean variable called B1 to be equal to 1 equal equal 1. So I am comparing this value with this value. I'm comparing them if they are equal because I'm using the equality operator. Of course, 1 is equal to 1. So this expression over here will evaluate to true. And the true will be stored inside B1, right? And these parentheses over here are not needed. But I'm using them to make things more clear, right? Let's see another example. I'm initializing B2 to be equal to 2 equal equal 3. So I'm comparing 2 and 3 if they are equal. So in this case, 2 is not equal to 3, right? So this expression will return false. So false will be stored inside B2. Now let's see this example. I'm initializing B3 to be equal to 2 plus 3 equal equal 6 minus 1. So I'm comparing this expression with this expression. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, right? So I'm comparing 5 with 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is also equal to 5. So finally we have 5 equal equal 5. So we are comparing if 5 is equal to 5. And this will give us true. So B3 will be equal to true. So as I said, the parentheses are optional. I use them to make the code more clear and readable. Now let's see the inequality operator. It is used to test if two expressions are not equal. So have a look over here. I'm initializing B1 to be equal to 1 not equal 1. So I'm testing if 1 is not equal to 1. And this is false. Because 1 is equal to 1. So over here, this expression evaluates to false and B1 will be equal to false. Okay? Another example. I'm comparing if 2 is different than 3. Now this is true. Because 2 is not equal to 3. So this expression will evaluate to true. And B2 will be equal to true. Now let's see this example. I'm comparing 2 plus 3 with 6 minus 2. I'm testing if they are different, if they are not equal. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, right? 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So I'm comparing 5 is different than 4. This is true. So B3 will be equal to true. So the equality operator evaluates to true if the values are equal. And the inequality operator evaluates to true if the values are not equal. Now let's see the greater than operator. It is used to test if an expression is greater than another expression. So over here, I'm testing if 1 is greater than 1. And this is false. Because 1 is not greater than 1, right? Another example. I'm testing if 2 is greater than 3. This is also false. And finally, I'm testing if 2 plus 3 is greater than 6 minus 2. This is true. Because 5 is greater than 4, right? Now let's see the greater than or equal operator. It is used to test if an expression is greater than or equal to another expression. So have a look over here. I'm testing if 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So this over here is true because 1 is equal to 1. So the greater than or equal operator evaluates to true if this value over here is greater than this one or if this value is equal to this one. This is why we say greater than or equal, right? Another example. I'm testing if 2 is greater than or equal to 3. This is false because 2 is not greater than 3 and 2 is not equal to 3. Finally, I'm comparing 2 plus 3 with 6 minus 2. So I'm testing if 5 is greater than or equal to 4. As you know, 5 is greater than 4. So immediately, this is true. 
So the greater than or equal operator evaluates to true if the value on the left is greater than the value on the right or if the value on the left is equal to the value on the right, right? Similarly, we have the less than operator. It is used to test if an expression is less than another expression. And this is straightforward, right? So 1 less than 1 is false, 2 less than 3 is true, 5 less than 4 is false. And we also have the less than or equal operator. And it is used to test if an expression is less than or equal to another expression. So 1 is less than or equal to 1 is true, 2 is less than or equal to 3 is also true, and 5 is less than or equal to 4 is false. So this is it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.